Hi, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com, and we're going to take a look at the Palm Pre's user interface, and more specifically, the Task Manager. Uh, this is probably the best feature of the Palm Pre. Palm has never been one for multitasking or task management. It was always you open a program and you use that program, and that's it. You can't really switch. Um, the web OS on Palm Pre has totally changed that, and it's I think it's the best task manager around on mobile device. Um, first off, you have your home screen, and you have these four icons at the bottom. Now, a swipe from the bottom up will bring you will bring those four icons up with your finger, and you can scroll across them, and then you have a little tool tip telling you which one does what, which is great. Um, and one thing you may not notice, you can just go like this and swipe it right off the screen, and that will activate the, the icon on the right, so you don't even have to look at it, the screen to do that. So that's pretty nice. If I do it with the other hand, it goes straight to the phone. You do, do have to kind of do it a little slowly for it to catch up. So this is your application launcher. We can scroll up and down. We can also scroll side to side. That was a little bit confusing because you have three pages to the left and right and you also scroll up and down so it's kind of hard to find applications sometimes. However, there's an easier way because if we minimize our current program we have a keyboard. So when I'm on this home screen and the applications are minimized like so, I can just type and then I press enter because that's the program that I typed and selected and it instantly opens that program. Really, really great universal search feature for finding the programs you want. Uh, to get back to that, I have to minimize that again and then I can type another program and as long as it's selected right there, I just press enter and it comes up. Now if I don't type that much, we also get contacts. Um, and now if I type uh, tap in the background, we get smaller program thumbnails that I can scroll through quicker. But if they're this size, I can swipe one at a time. So that's pretty nice. And closing them, I just flick it off the screen. Now that's obviously not intuitive because, you know, how would you know that? There's nothing in the interface indicating that that's how you would close a program. However, you probably went through the tutorial at the beginning when you first booted up the uh, Palm Pre and that would have taught you how to do that. So, uh, very nice. Now, if you get too many of these programs opened and you try to open another program, it's going to tell you that you have to close some of these cards. Um, compare that to Windows Mobile, which would just kind of try to close the least used open application by itself and maybe that will slow it down, maybe it'll freeze, who knows. So the pre is really putting task management back into your hands. Now these uh, four icons are customizable so if I tap on it, hold it, I can move it around and if I remove one of them, I can put another one in. If I tap and hold, there we go. Again, not intuitive, but a nice little way to move things around. Come back here. I want my email back. All right. Um, one thing that is kind of annoying if I'm in the email program, say I, I you know, typed email here, 
when I hit enter. Now, you know, normally I hold the, the phone like this with the keyboard, but now I can't do anything with the keyboard. I can't access the menu, I can't scroll to my inbox, I can't open all inbox. You really have to take one hand off the keyboard and go up here and tap it with your finger. So that can be kind of annoying because you also have to do that in all your applications if you want to do anything. Even uh, create a new message. Now you got to tap there. You got to type. And you know I want to get down to the message body, but I got to move my hand again and tap down there. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, let's take a look at how this interface compares with uh, the Trio Pro. Uh, Windows Mobile, also capable of multitasking. Usually your recent programs are up here. So that's a pretty quick and easy uh, way to access those. And what's nice about the Trio Pro is we d I don't have to move my hand to access those. I can do everything with the keyboard. And we also have our customized program icons, our hardware buttons, so those are always there. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the nice uh, universal search for finding programs. But everything is still controllable by the keyboard. Without touching the screen. See, all my my hands are staying in one place, so that, that's the nice feature of Windows Mobile. And if we go back to the pre. That was an appointment. There's my uh Trio is just talking to me. It's uh, made an announcement and read it to me. That's another thing that I miss on the uh, pre. No, no text to speech and no voice control. So you just hear a ding, and then you have to go find your phone and look at it and read it. Kind of pain. But the notifications are nice. They're down here, and it kind of minimizes the uh, rest of the screen and we can tap on them to read them. So overall, love the task management here. Close programs, really nice and easy. Switching programs, again, great. So that's it for now.